One by one, these fighters attempt to push forward. Benghazi, the city that united in revolution, is now at war with itself. This is the nearest point to the front line. Homes have become a battleground. Forces loyal to the internationally recognized government come face to face with jihadist fighters. Only a few meters separate them from the snipers. In these narrow streets, only one tank can cover the advance. Gaining ground is tough. As you can see, the fight here is street to street and house to house. Very difficult for the fighters to move forward as the snipers block the advance. To the relief of the fighters, the sound of warplanes fill the sky. Immediately after the airstrike, they restart their advance. These men are facing a number of jihadist groups. An Islamic State organization, terrorists, other battalions including Ansar al Sharia, who now pledge allegiance to IS. Not far from the war zone, we gain exclusive access to this specialist prison. This center holds men accused of fighting for extremist groups, the majority of them from Ansar al Sharia. These prisoners are alleged to have committed hundreds of crimes. Faraj confessed to carrying out dozens of murders and has agreed to talk about the crimes and how he was trained by Ansar al-Sharia. They show you how to do it. They do it in front of you, then they ask you to slaughter. So you get the knife and you use it. They stay with you, watching you do it. Yes, it feels strange at first, but after several times it becomes normal. The details given are shocking. He now faces execution. <laughs> Libya's second city started the revolution. Five years on, and Benghazi is once again key to the future of the country. Firas Kilani, BBC News, Benghazi, Libya.